Hey everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. I'm really excited about this one and it's gonna be the first of its kind on the channel so far, but there will be more to come like this. But essentially what I got in here are a bunch of plants for my terrariums and vivariums. Today's unboxing is not sponsored or anything like that. I actually purchased all of the items in this box. Let's open it up here. So all of the plants in this box come from Glass Houseworks. Now Glass Houseworks, it doesn't actually sell plants to be used solely in vivarium. So if you buy something from like Black Jungle or Josh's Frogs, for example, they're sold as being safe to use for animals, pest free, all that sort of thing. Now with these plants, they're sold for terrariums, house plants, whatever. So you're gonna have to clean them and do all of that sort of thing. So I figured I should add the disclaimer that you know, these aren't necessarily sold for vivariums, but if you want to do that, you can. I mean, I've done it plenty of times and I've had no issues. And the thing I like about Glass Houseworks is there's a lot of sort of oddity plants and things that I've really only seen on this website and they just have a really good selection. So it comes highly recommended from me. So let's start getting into these plants. So what I'm going to do is take all of the plants out of the box, set them on the table, and then we'll take a closer look at them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit everything on the table. I got a ton of stuff here, and this actually might be one of the biggest plant orders I've ever placed. Um, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I knew that I ordered a lot of plants, but seeing it all here before me, it's a lot going on. So there's only one way to do this, and that is one at a time. Now, if I had to guess what's in this one, I would probably say a Selaginella. Feels a little bit smaller. Maybe a uh, Ficus pumila. I got a bunch of species of that. What is this? Oh, ding, ding, ding. It's right the first time. I believe this is Fairy Plume. So here it is, Slaginella fairy plume in all of its glory. And if you remember, this is the same Slaginella that I used in that one 10 gallon vertical vivarium. And I'll put it up on the screen here so you know which one I'm talking about. But this is an awesome Slaginella, has some really cool characteristics about it. And I believe that I ordered two of these. So definitely a win for this one. On to the next one. I wonder what the likelihood is that this is the other fairy plume find out it's probably another slaginella though based on the no oh, no maybe not what do we got Ooh, all right all right some sort of cryptanthus i believe this is the jade let's find out cryptanthus oh cryptanthus nubicola all right this is actually another plant that i used in one of the vertical vivariums it was the first one actually and this one gets a really nice color about it almost orange and you can kind of see that here so this is going to be really cool in one of my crested gecko vivariums all right so let's go on to one of these bigger ones here now based on this part that's sticking out of here i believe it's a bilberga we'll find out here though I believe I was correct. Let's find out here. Ooh, yep. So here we have the Bilberga, and Bilberga are a cool and unique bromeliad. Rather than growing out like a flower, they kind of grow up, and then they curl at the edges here. So it's a, definitely a cool look at a nice variation in leaf texture in your vivarium for sure, and any sort of arboreal animals will take kindly to it. So Bilberga bromeliad. <laughs> All right, on to another one of these larger plants here. Um, I have no idea what this is. We gotta kind of get a closer look before I can guess. Uh, ooh, all right, all right. You guys know what this is. So we have the Fugus Pumio Snowflake here, and something really cool about this one in particular is check this out, all white leaves. Only white, I mean, there's nothing else on there. And this actually looks like the normal Ficus, but they're just white so that's pretty awesome loving this all right on to another one now uh, <laughs> this one's sticking out of the top too this is some type of bromeliad i'm pretty certain about it i'm not even going to try to attempt to pronounce the name here but this one is pretty big it's about two feet uh tall right now here i'll hold it up to me and you can see it 
So this is pretty awesome. I'm liking this. Now that I see how large it is, it might be too large for what I bought it for, but no worries. We can always find something else to do with it. This is really cool though. What is next? I'm going to do this one because it wanted me to open it earlier. It came rolling out. So, oh, all right. I believe this is the, I can't remember, cream. Some type of bromeliad with the name cream in it. So we've got another Neo Regilia here, and this one's cool. There's multiple in here. We've got one, two, there's at least two of them in here, so that's cool. Maybe I'll section them off and go from there. And, ooh, all right, all right. This one here is pretty cool. This is Maranta Repens, but this is a different variety. It's actually a dwarf. So it's probably not gonna, the leaves at least, they're not gonna get that much bigger than this. I don't know if you've ever seen the larger version of this plant, the leaves get uh, yay big, they get pretty big. So this is cool, good for terrariums, and that's what it's gonna be used for. I don't know, what's in here? It's very exciting. Uh, I'm gonna have to say this is some type of cryptanthus. And it was, what kind? Probably black mystic. I think. So this is a, yep, Cryptanthus Black Mystic. All right, now next up, I believe we have another Cryptanthus here if I had to guess. I got a ton of them. Can't go wrong, they're, they're a good plant. Oh no, this is, uh, oh, all right, all right, this is a good one. So here we have the variegated Ficus Pumula and Typically the snowflake variety is sold as the variegated and I guess technically it is, but not like this. This is clearly the same as the regular ficus pumulo that you would get, but the, look at that. Look at that variegation right there. That is awesome. So there it is, variegated ficus pumulo. I was definitely excited about this one here. Didn't disappoint. And what's up next? Another small one here. Could be a cryptanthus, could be a ficus, could be just about anything. Oh, all right, all right. So here it is, Peperomia Confilotropa. Now I got this in hopes to use it in the Nano Paludarium. We'll see if I actually use it in that, but this is a really cool plant. It's super delicate, but it just has a really nice look about it. And up next, what is this? Looks like some type of, oh, all right, this is a good one. So here we have Monstera pateri, and this is not the one that you would typically see. These leaves are actually not gonna get any bigger than this. It's gonna grow a lot more, of course, but typically you'll see ones that, you know, the leaves get huge, but this is a little bit different. So definitely was looking forward to this one. I believe this might be the other fairy plume. Yeah, definitely. Another Slaginella fairy plume. This one's a little bit larger, but as you can see, very cool plant. This is some sort of bromeliad. Find out what though here in a second. It is. Oh, okay. This is not what I thought it was. This is a, if I understand correctly what it is at least. This is a cross between a Bilbergia and a cryptanthus. So what it is, is it's a Cryptbergia rubra. So that's pretty cool. It's awesome looking. I believe that my boy Henry's gonna get himself this one. All right, next up we've got, what is that? I don't have a clue at this, oh, okay. So this is a Syngonium Podophyllum. I'll put the exact name up on the screen, but as you can see, it looks very similar to the normal Syngonium Podophyllum, but the leaves are arrow-shaped, so that's really cool. So I don't think the camera recorded me opening this, but this is a type of Neerogelia Fireball. It's slightly different than the one that I have currently, so I'll leave the exact name up on the screen, but that's pretty nice for one of the crested geckos for sure. All right, so we'll open up this one here. Uh, I know what this one is, or well, I think I know what it is. No, I don't. And again, we have another bromeliad here. I'll put the name up on the screen because I don't think I know how to pronounce it at all. But this is a really nice looking one. Definitely cool. 
So what this was is it's Slaginella Carlsiana gold tips. However, there's another plant in here. I I don't have a clue what it is. It looks like some type of pilea. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely calling it as some type of pilea, but I don't know specifically what kind. But Slaginella Carlsiana gold tips and some other plant, probably pilea of some sort. And what do we got in here? So we've got another Cryptanthus here. This is Cryptanthus cloud cover. So this is a cool one. I believe it gets sort of an orangish red color. And there's also another straggler plant in this one. And I'm pretty sure this is a begonia of some sort. I can't remember exactly the name, but I'm 99% sure this is that begonia. And, ooh, all right. So this is Ficus pumula minima, and what it is, it's pretty much just the same thing as regular Ficus pumula, but the leaves are not going to grow as large. So that is a cool one for sure. Can't go wrong buying more of this. You know I couldn't get another plant order without getting some more Ficus pumula quercifolia, aka oak leaf creeping fig. This is one of my go-to terrarium plants. It's great, and... There's not much else to say about that. It's awesome. Ooh, all right. This is a cool one. This is a really cool one here. This one here is really cool. I've had it before, and it did really well, and then it died off for some reason. But this is Slaginella umbrosa. And as it matures, it's going to get a dark sort of like Christmas green on top. And then when you flip it over, it's bright red like that. So it's really cool. Add a nice look to your vivarium because it's green on top, red on the bottom, cool contrast. So I'm definitely excited to be including that in some of my builds. Getting close to the end here. We only have about five more. What is this? Ooh, all right. This actually, I think this one's the jade or not. No, <laughs> okay. So here we have the Cryptanthus Snow Goose, and that's why I was laughing. It's kind of a silly name. I'm not really sure why it's named that, but it looks really cool. It has some nice broad leaves on it, whereas some of the other ones I got have sort of narrow leaves. So I'm definitely liking this one as well. Next up, we've got... What do we got? Small guy. Oh, all right. This one's interesting. So I'm probably butchering this one as well, but this is Acorus graminius, and it's pretty cool. Little sort of grass type of plant, and I was thinking, you know, I don't really have anything like this in my terrariums or vivariums, and I definitely want to start including something like it. And it doesn't get taller than this, but it's going to grow out. Definitely think that's a cool thing to include. And next up, oh, all right, I was really excited about this one. So this one is Ficus pumula curly, and it sort of has the leaf of the snowflake. This one actually has a little bit of variegation in it as well, but I think it's a slightly different look than the snowflake, but also very cool. This one feels really dense. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, here it is. Been talking about it since like the first one. This is the jade. Now this one's cool. It's a little bit more of a low grower. So if I'm pronouncing this correctly, this is Cryptanthus Aculus Jade, and it's a really cool one. Low grower, nice broad leaves, sort of a lime green color. Cool, definitely liking that one. And last but not least, we've got probably the only generic plant that I've ordered out of everything, and that is... Dun, 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 dun. Pothos. If I remember correctly, this is Neon Pothos. It has the name in here and I'm not I don't know I, I wouldn't be able to pronounce it. I'll just sound like an idiot so here we have it so that's gonna about wrap it up for this unboxing as you can see we've got a ton of wonderful plants here from glass houseworks I'll leave all the links down in the description as I said this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that in fact they don't even have a clue that I'm making this video and I'm not going to tell them if they for whatever reason see it thanks for always sending me great plants I really appreciate it and uh, I got to clean these plants off here before I can start using them and typically I would clean the plants off then put them in quarantine for a few weeks to a month or so before actually using them in my setups. Now 
I don't have anywhere to put these plants, so really I gotta just clean them off and put them directly into the enclosures they'll go in. And the animals aren't gonna go into the enclosures right away anyway, so I can monitor the plants, see if anything's wrong with them and whatnot. And I, I'm definitely taking precautions here, but I've not had issues with their plants previously. So as always, I appreciate you guys and I thank you for watching. I'm gonna conclude the video by showing an individual shot of each plant, throw the name up again so that way you guys know exactly what I got here and we'll call it a day. So I'll see you guys next time, peace.